Hey everybody, Jillian here for Illustrated Faith's Print and Pray Shop and I've got a brand new process video for you using Mandy Ford's new set Fall Away. It includes these beautiful sheets of ephemera, a whole sheet of scallop borders, and these three really fun and beautiful patterned papers. I'm loving these colors and her whimsical style. So today I'm going to be using these pieces to create a journaling entry in my traveler's notebook. I like to include all sorts of things in these notebooks like sermon notes, um, just things that are on my heart, things like that. And they're like a little time capsule because they don't have very many pages in them and at least for me they can't fit very much. So it's typically only for maybe a four or five week period that um, I use one traveler's notebook insert. So it's really fun to go back and see what I was um, listening to, thinking about, things like that. So I'm going to start by cutting down one of the pieces of patterned paper and I want to feature this on the right side, full page of patterned paper. It's my favorite scrapbook supply and I want to be sure to feature it. So I am covering the whole border of the page with some rolling adhesive. This is the Illustrated Faith Tape Runner. And then I'm just going to put the patterned paper on there, flip it over and trim off the excess. You could very easily actually measure the page and then cut <laughs> the patterned paper to that size, but that's not fun for me, so I'm going to do it this way. I have uh, my verse typed up on this just graph paper that I have, and I did it a couple times. I liked the second time better, so I'm going to get that trimmed down and torn off for a little bit of texture, and I'm going to layer that on top of this other piece of patterned paper in Mandy's set. So I'm actually putting a little bit of adhesive on the back to keep it together and then trimming it around this box. I'm trimming it even more and then decided to kind of um, keep the two pieces perpendicular. I thought that was a little more interesting. And then I'm going to layer these really fun scallop borders underneath um, this kind of cluster. So really featuring this verse that I'm journaling in Psalm 23, 6, it's the message transla translation and it says, Your beauty and love chase after me every day of my life. And I love that so much. It goes along so well with what I'm journaling about. A few weeks ago, I guess now, um, uh, some friends had gifted my husband and me with some concert tickets and just a, a date night. And they were going to watch our kids for us and I, we were really excited. The concert was at the church that I went to high school in, and I was like more curious <laughs> about what it looked like now. And at the concert, singing along and worshiping, I thought of the baptismal behind the whole concert setup, the curtain and the projector and all of the lights and things like that. And being in that spot where I was baptized 18 years before made me think about the journey that I had been on since then and how throughout that whole journey, the Lord became so evident to me that he was holding on to me the whole time. He was pursuing my heart the whole time. I certainly did not go to that concert thinking that it would just be the biggest like God wink ever. Like, see Jill, I've got you. I've had you this whole time. And then when I saw Mandy's set come out a few weeks later and this hand just with the, the phrase, I am held on there, I was so excited to be able to use this set to document that story. And, um, oh man, I still can't get over it. It's so amazing. So that's what I'm writing about here. And then I decided to use some alpha stickers to pull out some of those big words like grateful, pursuing, and amen. So it's just a little prayer, I guess just documenting how awesome he is. So I put one of the teeny tiny acorns on that piece of washi tape because I felt like it needed a little something but decided in the end to remove it. I used my date stamp to fill in some of that blank space at the bottom and then I'm going in with the Faber-Castell brush pen in dark Naples ochre which is a pretty good match for the colors in this set to just put some dots around the page. I decided to go back in with some foam adhesive to pop up this little acorn that's on the right side and I'm so pleased with how that looks. It's not so flat. And then I'm just going to go in with my fingers very carefully <laughs> and rough up the edges of these pieces of paper to add a little more dimension and texture and that's going to do it. So if you haven't already, I hope you'll pick up Mandy's Better Together release called Fall Away. It's so beautiful. And we've got it linked down in the video description below for you. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon.